We're learning new details about the woman charged in using a stolen medical license to practice nursing in the upstate. Our Henry Coburn takes a closer look at the case. The South Carolina Attorney General's office says 37-year-old Alyssa Steele worked at seven different upstate health care facilities between January of 2020 and June of 2021. But an investigation by the AG's office says that not only was she not qualified or trained to do the job of a registered nurse, it says she was using a stolen medical license number from Georgia to get those jobs in the first place. Investigators say she worked at facilities in Anderson, Greenville, and Pickens counties. Those facilities include the Cascades Verde Assisted Living Facility in Greenville, the Iva Rehabilitation and Health Care Center, Piedmont Post Acute, the Brookdale Assisted Living Facility in Anderson, Condor Health in Anderson, Easley Place Assisted Living Facility, and Fleetwood Rehabilitation and Health Care Assisted Living Facility. Now, I spoke with several of those facilities today who told me she was a contracted employee hired through an outside nursing agency. Piedmont Post Acute says she only worked one eight hour shift there. Steele was arrested and released on bond in all three counties this week, three days in a row. She now faces 14 charges, including neglect of vulnerable adults, unlicensed practice as a registered nurse, financial identity fraud to obtain employment, and obtaining signature or property under false pretenses. The Attorney General's office says they initially started investigating Steele after a tip from the IVA Police Department. The Medicaid Fraud Control Unit then uncovered other alleged crimes in this case. Henry Coburn, 7 News.